looking for some quick feng shui do's and don'ts and tips and tricks that I love around a home. Well, I have lots of different things surrounding me here and I'm going to go through them today. A pineapple and three apples. Now, these are real, which is great, and I'm going to talk about fake and real things in a little bit. But over the years, I've seen a lot of people share about um, symbolism of different fruit. So if you want to call in, like for fertility, for example, images of pomegranates are great. If you want to um, connect with the energy of abundance, pineapples have great symbolism. Does this mean you have to plaster pineapples all over your house? No, but if you do have a pineapple, you can have it on display. I've also seen um, and do is, um, and heard, you know, fruit bowls. People ask me like, is there a certain number of fr fruits that I should have in a, in a bowl? And um, I have three apples here. There was some more there in the background. And when we have fruit in our home, it is great. It's like good, it's healthy, it's vibrant. It's great to have it on display for ourselves. And oftentimes you can see, or even to start with a bowl of nine oranges. They're very um, great because orange is a great color for communication. When you open up an orange, it has lots of segments in it. So it's quite an abundant looking fruit, but apples as well. So um, is there any specific numbers that you should have of them? You know, if there's something that you're eating and digesting all the time, no, it doesn't matter. Just keep um, have eating healthy and looking after yourself. The next thing you're going to see here around me is different kind of animals. And should you have different animals in your home as ornaments? And what do they signify? So you can have a little, take a bit of time for yourself and see here, this is a cute elephant, one with a little baby elephant on top. And if I was working with someone who wanted to call in a child, for example, I would definitely say to them, you know, this one would be really cute if it had another elephant with it. So it had two elephants and a little baby elephant on top, or maybe two with two little babies if that was the vision. So start thinking about using the ornaments in your home for what it is that you want in your life. Um, and that's super cute. Now on its own, you know, if it was like, you know, if I went in and this would be something I'd possibly see in a single parent's home, they would have just got this completely unconsciously, have bought it, saw the elephant, and it's like me and my son or me and my daughter. And if you want to be in a relationship, it would be a good idea to have another one in, another elephant in the picture or in the, another one as a like little uh, buddy for this. And the same goes for like singular things like this horse. Now, is there anything wrong with having a horse in your home? Not at all, or images of horses. Animals are amazing, and if you have a good connection with animals, keep them in your home, no problem. Now, this animal, and for most positioning of animals, when I would say to people in their homes, is make sure that it is coming inwards, okay? So if your back do the door was here, you'd want the facing of the animal this way, because if it is facing that way, it is going out the door. And we are spending a lot of time in feng shui bringing the chi energy in. And we don't want something like symbol of an at horse bringing it back out again. Um, and in feng shui, when we're selling a house, um, you'll see in some of my other episodes where I talk about buying and selling your house that we do use galloping horses for selling houses. Um, but this is, would not be actually sufficient for it. So one little horse on its own, I wouldn't recommend usually have them on solo on their own. I would definitely like to pair it up. And the same goes for something like the single woman image here. Here she is, beautiful, like head, but she looks a bit like lonely on her own. Um, and you'd only, I don't know if I'd really, personally, I wouldn't have her in my home. Um, uh, she's a bit contemplative, which is, you know, it's okay to be contemplative, um, but she doesn't look that happy. For personally. So when you have things as singular images or singular ornaments in your home, I would look at it deeply and be like, what does it say to you? How does it make you feel? And does it inspire you? You know, maybe if it was placed in the meditation area of your home or in your sacred space for you, it would be completely fine. But if you're a single woman wanting to call in love, I just wouldn't recommend something like uh, this lady at all. No, thank you. Um, the next thing is, 
And you'll see in the background, I have some beautiful hydrangeas here in the background. And I specifically got fresh flowers because um, they are alive. And this is a really important thing when it comes to feng shui because I see a lot of homes, I go into them and there's artificial plants and flowers like this one um, here or this one. These are not mine, by the way. I do not own them. <laughs> they are from this space that I'm in right now. Um, or these. What do you think? They can be quite pretty and nice, but the energy is not alive. And what I have found with these is that they tend to, and I'm going to just completely investigate and be like, yes, it is true. They tend to attract dust and dirt and dust and dirt is dirt like it and also it's stagnant energy so when things get dusty it gets creates the stagnancy it's just not good chi feng shui we want movement we want flow the flowers are going to die because that's what happens but it's uh, the cycle of life and feng shui is all about the cycle of life now, the final thing that I have surrounded by me is some images and artwork, and you've seen some of these before, but this is a picture that I absolutely love. It's um, You Are Made of Magic, and I highly recommend you bringing things into your home that inspire you, that make you feel good, that uplift you. And um, if that, that's just one thing you do. Make sure that as you walk around your house, that it feels good, and the things that you have hanging up around you feel good and they reflect what it is that you want to call in in your life.